There was a cunning jackal who wandered in search of food and entered into the village. He managed to find a chicken for his food and was feasting on it. All of a sudden, there appeared a pack of street dogs who chased the jackal. The jackal ran for his life and finally jumped into a large tub at a washerman's house. After the dogs went away, he quietly jumped out and reached the forest. On the way, he wanted to drink some water and went to a pond and while trying to drink the water, he realized he has completely turned blue because he had jumped into a blue dye tub kept by the washerman. The cunning jackal suddenly got an idea and started walking strangely in the forest. First, he met a rabbit which asked him, Who are you? The cunning jackal said, I am your new king sent from heaven. You are all my followers and have to follow my command. The rabbit thought it to be true and he started going behind the jackal. Next, they met the deer who asked the jackal, Who are you? The cunning jackal said, I am your new king sent from heaven. You are all my followers and how to follow my command. The deer also started walking behind the jackal. Later, they met the bison, tiger, camel, giraffe, cobra and almost every other animal in the forest and all believed the cunning jackal and started following him. Finally, they reached the lion who was the true king and all the animals told the lion that the jackal was sent from heaven to be their king. The lion king looked at his minister, Colonel Hathi, and asked him what to do. The Colonel Hathi asked the jackal, You look very familiar, but I'm unable to place you right. But tell me, why are you blue? After asking this, Colonel Hathi made a critical inspection of the jackal going around him. The jackal felt slightly uneasy since he knew that Colonel Hathi was a very brilliant minister and a very good advisor to the king. After two rounds of inspection, Colonel Hathi said, Oh King Lion, we must first honor our guest before we call the parliament to take a decision. So let's have a feast tonight to honor our guest from heaven. That night, a great table was laid out with yummiest meat and drink for the feast. The table had the attendance of every representative of the jungle. Name an animal, they were there. The Lion King was at the head of the table and the cunning jackal at the other end. He was enjoying the glory and was dreaming of the most important moment of being crowned the king. The Lion King raised toast to the jackal and was about to sip the drink when Colonel Hathi said, King, today we have the honor of four unique vocalists who are going to sing for us on this great occasion. And please do the honor to get them to sing for a celestial guest. The lion was surprised to see four well-dressed packs of jackals ready for the song. He said, Let's have your song. The four jackals raised their neck, pointing to the full moon, let out a celebrative howl in long and alternatively raising their howl in pairs. The cunning jackal, while being composed in the beginning, could not resist the temptation and joined the howling pack. All the animals let out a surprised grunt and their jaw fell open. The cunning jackal suddenly realized that he had been tricked into this by Colonel Hathi and was about to run. Colonel Hathi's four trusted soldiers just raised their tusk and showered some cold water over the blue jackal and all the color came down unveiling the true cunning jackal's color. Colonel Hathi said, <laughs> You may fool some people sometime, but not all the people all the time. Moral of the story Never attempt to lie to your bosses and superiors. True color will be unveiled one day and you will lose your job. <laughs>